when adjusting the date, I think I broke the watch. What's up people, welcome back to my channel. Before you click away, I promise I will stop with the dings and the dongs as much as I can. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, do check out my previous videos where I was told that the ding dongs were a little annoying. This is me listening to my viewers in trying to make better videos for you. If you appreciate my effort here, please do me a favor and hit that like, subscribe and bell icon to support the channel and I promise to make better videos and hopefully one day I'll do a giveaway. Anyway, today we'll be chatting about the Baron Ross BR03 Diver Black and Green Bronze Limited Edition. Before we begin, I would like to thank Baron Ross for allowing me to check out their timepieces. The BR03 Diver case has a slight difference when compared with the BR03 Auto. The square case remains to be brush finish with the bevel surrounding it polished finish. The difference here is on the 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock position on the bevel which is raised and brushed instead of polished. The four aligned screws on the case are polished and the allen bolt screws on the lugs are also polished. A point to note about the bronze case here is that it uses a CUSN8 bronze alloy which is 92% copper and 8% tin. CUSN8 is a phosphor bronze which has high friction properties. The high grade tin use provides high mechanical strength and elasticity with adequate conductivity. Whilst this may sound like an oxymoron to those who prefers their bronze diver watch to be in a pristine and unpatina like condition. Yeah, boy. CUSN8 bronze tends to patina quicker with more green hues if exposed to seawater. However, fear not patrons, the patina process is easily reversible using citric acid or lemon juice. Because the alloy is very wear resistant and has a very good corrosion resistance, a little lemon juice will have absolutely no effect on it. Oh. <sighs> the lug width here is 24mm. The watch comes in a pelican case with two straps and tubes. One is the black synthetic fabric strap and the other, as you see here, is a black groove rubber strap that looks like it can handle anything that you throw at it. The pin buckle is also bronze with the name BR engraved on it. The case back here is in stainless steel, featuring a decorative engraving of the deep sea diving helmet. Underneath it is the BR Calibre 302 automatic which is based on the Salita SW300-1 giving it a longer power reserve. Tucked in between two large removable crown guards is the engraved screw down crown that has a rubber ring surrounding it to help with the grip. The crown guards are engraved with a direction indicator telling you which direction to turn. The unidirection bronze bezel is all polished finish with an anodized aluminium insert. The 60 minute pointer has a loom pit on it. Underneath the sapphire crystal with AR coating is a matte green dial with white wordings and white indices with black frames. The amphitheater rehaut has a white minute track printed around it. The black polished hands all have white superluminova like the indices. The loom is pretty good. The date as usual is located at the 430 position and has a green backdrop with white wordings. When adjusting the date, you can either use a quick adjustment when you pull out the crown at the first position, or hack the second hand by further pulling out the crown to the second position. When adjusting the date, I think I broke the watch. When adjusting the date from the 1st to the 2nd, the date starts tilting at 11.30pm and snap at 11.55pm. But when I tried adjusting the date from the 9th to the 10th, there is a slight tilt at 11.30pm, not as much as before, 
and then snap at 12 a.m. sharp. And I wonder. What? Bell and Ross is probably gonna ban me from reviewing their watches soon. Ah! Ah! Why are you running? Why are you running? First, I tried to rob them, then I broke their watch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do check out my previous video on the Bell and Ross Cyber Ceramic. I'm sure you'll find it entertaining. The link is in the description below. <sighs> Better make this count. Wink, wink. My thoughts? To be very frank, there is nothing new about the case or the movement. It's basically a change of color from its previous bronze diver collection. However, I think the green, bronze and black bezel is a home run here. It looks really good. If you have a wrist that is bigger than mine, this can be a pretty good looking watch. It's sporty as well. What do you think of this watch? Do let us know in the comments below. So, are there any other watches that you would like me to destroy? Yes, I did that a couple of years back. If you missed that video, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Jokes aside, if there are any other watches you would like me to check them out, please feel free to chat with me in the comments below and I'll try my very best to do so. Until the next one, thank you for watching.